Hey gang, Nick Safoni here from realestateinvestoronline.com. That's realestateinvestoronline.com. For those of you that didn't get it the first time, and my name is Nick. Thanks so much for watching. Last couple of times, last couple TGIFs that we call these, I talked about um, how to find deals. I started talking about bird dogs, I think four sessions ago, and then how bird dogs can find deals. Then I talked more about finding deals and more about finding deals and more about finding deals. So if you want to watch all of them, go to realestateinvestoronline.com, click on REI TV or RETV or Real Estate TV, whatever it says, something across the top, and check it out. And you can watch all of those. Today I want to talk about something to kind of help give you a checkup from the neck up. You know, sometimes we all become victims of what I like to call stinking thinking. So that's why I say we need a checkup from the neck up to get rid of our stinking thinking. No matter how successful we are, sometimes we doubt ourselves. Sometimes we doubt what we're doing with our lives. We doubt our business. We doubt our success. We doubt our confidence. We doubt all kinds of things. And it's natural. It's human, right? So today I want to talk about the head game. Talk about being persistent. How to have the right attitude. How to think positive. And you know, it is more important than it thinks. Than, it thinks, than you might think. I, I literally went for years thinking, oh, that stuff doesn't matter, while I was failing in different businesses over those years. And then I started to take a little bit more seriously. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote Think and Grow Rich. What do you think of that? Um, me and Napoleon Hill got together and did it back in 1926 or whatever it was. But I read Think and Grow Rich, and I realized how important it is to have the right attitude and have the right, you know, they, they say the only territory you need to conquer is about six inches wide maybe eight or ten inches in my case, but up here. So today I want to talk about being positive. And I wanted to give it, kind, of, kind of get my point across by telling a little bit of a story. Now, if you've been listening to me for a long time, you might have heard this before. Every couple of years I tell this story. <laughs> so if you haven't heard it, in, if you did hear it and you haven't heard it in a while, you're due. If you haven't heard it, well, you're in for a treat, kind of. Anyway, I call it the pony story. You know, the story's about two brothers, two little guys, and they're twin brothers. And even though they look exactly alike, they're really different, these two kids. One kid is really positive, always happy, always thinks positive. The other kid is really negative. He's never happy. And since these kids are so different, they don't get as long, along as well as the parents would like them to. So the parents said, well, you know, the kids are so different. Let's bring them to a psychologist or a child shrink and have them checked out. And then we'll see which one of the kids is more likely to be changed. And then we'll work on changing that son to be more like the other one. Uh, and that way they'll get along a little bit better and we won't have as much chaos in the house and that type of thing. So they take these kids to a doctor and the doctor says, we will run a test. And here's what the test is. They're going to put each of the kids in a separate room and leave them in there for a half hour each and then come back and study the results. But here's the difference. In the room that they're going to put the little negative kid, we'll call him Negative Ned, that room is full of everything a kid could possibly want. There's swing sets and bicycles and skateboards and rollerblades and pinball machines and computers and games and playstations and cakes and cookie and candy and cupcakes. Everything a kid could possibly want is in this room. Now, the other kid, they put him into another room. This is Positive Pete. They put Positive Pete into a room, and there's nothing in that room but a pile of horse manure about this tall. And that's all there is in the whole room. So they leave, each, they leave them in there. 30 minutes later, they go back, and they say, let's check on Negative Ned first and see what's happening. So they go into the room with Negative Ned, and they can't find him. It's perfectly quiet in there. I mean, you could hear a pin drop. None of the swings are swinging. None of the cake's been eaten. Nothing's been touched. They finally find him sitting alone in the corner, and the doctor says, Son, everything in this room is what kids love. Why are you not playing with all these toys? And the little boy looks up at him and says, I thought I'd try the swing set or the roller blade, but then I thought I might get hurt. And the doctor said, oh, my goodness. Then why are you not eating some cakes and cookies and pudding and jello? And the boy says, Doc, I thought I'd get a stomach ache. And he says, 
Oh, well, what about all these games? There's pinball and PlayStation. Or PlayStation. And there's Wii and Xbox and lots of games you could be playing. And the boy says, Oh, Doc, I thought I might lose. And the doctor looked at the parents, and the parents looked at the doctor, and they gave the nod. They went to the next room. Now, as soon as they walk in the next room, the doc gets hit square in the chest with a big splat of horse manure. Splat! Oi, my goodness, I can leave her, son, son, stop! And it takes the parents and the doctors work together to get this kid. I mean, he was knee on his knees and all you can see is his feet and his butt and he, he was flinging this horse manure everywhere in the room. They finally restrained the kid. And, and the doctor says, Son, what are you thinking? The boy looks up at the doctor and says, Doc, with all this manure, there's got to be a pony somewhere. I know, it's a little corny, but it drives home the point. You make the best of your situation. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a homeless guy or you're Donald Trump. You've got some problems. And I'll tell you this. I've had money, and I've lost it, and I've had money again, and I've lost it. No matter what situation you're in, you have problems. And I'll tell you what, when you've got money, your problems are bigger. Because now you've got stuff, something to lose, right? So you're always a little nervous about it. You second guess yourself. Always be positive. Don't be like negative net. Be like positive Pete. Always look for the bright side. Because if you don't, you'll drive yourself nuts. I have a relative, and I'm not going to say who it is, but I have a relative who's always negative. No matter what you say, they look at the negative side. And it's almost, really, it's almost depressing to even talk to them because, unfortunately, it's just so negative to talk to them. Um, whatever, what, even the good stuff is bad, or it'll never last, or that type of thing. You shape yourself. And, you know, there's the whole, um, oh, I can't think of the, there's a whole, the secret, that whole thing where, you know, if you give the right vibes to the universe, the universe gives the right vibes back to you. And even if you don't totally believe in this type of thing, if you're thinking positive, you're going to be happier. You're going to have less stress. You're going to live longer. You're going to have more friends. So always look at the bright side. And I know you've heard this all the time. You've heard it over and over. Is the glass half full? Is the glass half empty? Just be glad you've got a glass. Let me read something here. This is all to inspire you, so I hope this is working. But when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a failure turns about when he might have won if he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggler is given up when he may have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success's failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near, though it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. And I'm going to finish this. And if you know me at all, and most of you do, you know I'm not a flash the cash kind of guy. You know, I don't give hype on my videos. I don't hype my program or mastermind. Um, I tell it how it is pretty much. And I don't think I've ever done this. But I want to show you, just go through, I make copies of not all, but some of the checks. And I'm hoping that this will inspire you, okay? Here's my first one. 500 bucks, first check I ever made. It was a bird dog deal. Let me just go through some of these numbers. $1,000. $25,000. That's another copy of the $25,000. $19,500. Another $1,500. Here's one for 
$17,173. Here's another one for $25,000 even. Here's $2,000. Here's $9,000, $8,084, even. Well, here's a nice one, $36,837, can't even find, oh, $10,214, $15,916, $6,616, $6,616, Fifteen thousand nine hundred and eight. Ten thousand even. I'm just doing this to show you what this business can do to you. I'm not showing it to say look at me. I'm showing it to say look where you can be. Take this business seriously. It's not easy. You're gonna have your rough days. Just do it part time. Just commit two hours a week, an hour a day, whatever you can do. But stick to it, stick to it, stick to it. And you'll get there. You really will. If you just persist, think positive, and keep moving forward. Just don't quit. When you quit, that's when you that's when you fail. So stick to it, all right? Um, free stuff. If you're not a member yet, you can become a free member at www.rei-tv.com. www.rei-tv.com. I give you some free stuff for joining. That way you'll get, I'll get, you'll get emails when we put up new videos, stuff like that. I send you special offers, lots of goodies. Um, I'd love to see you join our mastermind group. It's... Three times you get to talk to me by phone live a month. We have special guests come in. We have an email group. And we're now going to start, we're going to give you an opportunity um, for some of you to be in a live chat. So you can talk with each other live, like Skype, talk to me live. Just go to realestaterestaurantline.com forward slash mmind, M-M-I-N-D, join our mastermind group. This is Nick. Thanks so much for watching. Think positive, think positive, think positive. Until next time, go make an offer.